which Java is required for automation testing and which topics are important. Uh, to be honest, you don't need a lot of time to learn Java, okay, from your automation testing perspective. Um, you can easily do it in just three, three and a half months, okay. But uh, the important thing that you need to focus on when you are learning Java is object-oriented programming principles. You really need to know how OOPS is going to be implemented in your project, okay? And uh, the second thing that you need to know is design patterns. Now, what are design patterns? Design patterns basically helps you implement OOPS efficiently in your project, okay? So most of the time, you know, like uh, the automation testers are just aware about one design pattern and that is your page object design pattern, right? But in reality, there are many design patterns and in your automation framework, uh, you have singleton coming into picture, your factory comes into picture, your builder design pattern comes into picture. So you need to be aware about it, like not the, just the theoretical one, you, know, you need to know how to implement it in your project. And uh, lastly, when you are aware about these things, I'm pretty sure you're going to create good automation framework, something which you can showcase both in your resume as well as in your office workspace.